Hello and welcome to today's news bulletin for Biospectrum. Let's have a look at today's headline. Researchers find that mice stay away from infections as their immune systems cause fungal spores to die. FDA puts cancer drug trials on hold after patient dies. India signs an MOU with Japan for the expansion of biotech lab. A team of researchers has found that mice are able to ward off fungal in lung infections because their immune systems cause fungal spores to die. In this experiment, researchers modified a strain of Aspergillus fumigatus, a fungus associated commonly with causing pneumonia in people to change color when cell death instructions kicked in. Cell death or apoptosis is found not only in humans but in mice and other creatures such as fungi as well. By causing the fungus spores to change colors when this process was activated, the researchers observed that it occurred shortly after immune cells arrived and began interacting with them. This resulted in the death of the spore, preventing an infection from occurring. The researchers also found that Aspergillus fumigatus had a gene AFBIR1 whose function was to inhibit cell death. Causing the gene to be more active in mice led to more lung infections, while doing the reverse led to fewer infections. Researchers have said that this finding might offer a treatment for people with compromised immune systems who are typically more susceptible to fungal lung infection. Developing a drug that suppresses AFBIR1 in fungi infecting humans could conceivably save many lives. The US FDA has put the drug trials breakthrough cancer therapy on hold after a 78-year-old person died. The hold was initiated after selectors reported the fatality in plastic plasma cytoid dendritic cell neoplasm BPCD and clinical trial. The first patient treated with acute myeloid leukemia study was a 58-year-old man who received the same regimen as the BPCD and patient. She had experienced a great for capillary leak syndrome at day 9, which was resolved at day, day 12. FDA has put a hold on both gene editing allogenic CAR T cell immunotherapies, namely acute myeloid leukemia and plastic plasma cytodendritic cell neoplasm PPCD and phase 1 clinical trials. India and Japan signed an MOU yesterday for the expansion of an international laboratory set up for a collaborative research in the area of biotechnology. The PAC sign envisages the expansion of laboratories set up by DBT and Japan's National Institute of Advanced Science and Technology under the name Dai Lab. Dai Lab is located in Japan. The new center to come up after the PAC will be called Dai Center. It will seek to enhance the level of joint research, training, and networking programs that had been underway through Dai Lab and its six ancillary institutes called Satellite International Institutes for Special Training, Education, and Research sisters for the past three years. It would also focus on connecting the academia to the industry and network innovation to entrepreneurship, promoting science and technology relationship of the two countries. That's all for today. Thank you. For more videos, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Biospectrum Media.